Hello everyone, Icecool Tech here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone SE first generation handles the latest beta from Apple iOS 13.5 Developer Beta 3. Now before we get into the video, if you guys do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications to not stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Icecool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. If you didn't already know, I have started a Twitter page and you can follow me using the link in the description down below. Timestamps are also in the description if you like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. iOS 13.5 was iOS 13.4.5. Beta 1 released several weeks ago bringing much needed bug fixes as well as security patches and general improvements. Some of these fixes include a string of text that could crash any iPhone and a mail vulnerability where a user could gain remote control over the target user's inbox. Beta 2 released a couple weeks after the first beta bringing more fixes and improvements and early last week Beta 3 released renaming iOS 13.4.5 to 13.5 and brought the first iteration of Apple and Google's COVID-19 exposure notification API. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be using the COVID-19 exposure notification feature. With that said, let's take a look at how this latest beta has been on the iPhone SE first generation. General performance has been great. There hasn't been any noticeable increase or decrease in performance with this update. This is okay as Beta 1 and Beta 2 are perfectly fine on my iPhone SE. Everything from opening up apps and loading web pages to RAM management performed just fine. I haven't come across any noticeable drops in performance in day-to-day -day use while using iOS 13.5 Beta 3. Just like performance, there hasn't been any noticeable change in animations between Beta 2 and Beta 3. All animations such as swiping to access the notification and control centers, scrolling through web pages, haptic touching, swiping through the home screen, etc. are all just as smooth as previous iOS 13 releases. I haven't noticed any major lag or stuttering in system animations. Now, before we get into battery life, I would like to take a second to mention that my iPhone SE first generation is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 92% and has had a restart. However, I have manually disabled performance throttling in the battery health settings, meaning that my iPhone is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Battery life has been slightly improved with iOS 13.5 Beta 3. On Beta 3, I've noticed a slight improvement in on-screen time. Now with light use, you can definitely pull off a full day without needing to carry around an extra charger. Now if you're a medium user, naturally you'll end off with less battery by the end of the day, and I'd even recommend keeping a spare charger with you, as you may need to charge the phone once or twice during the day. Now if you are a heavy user, I'd highly advise you keep a spare charger with you, or use a battery case, as you'll most likely need to charge your iPhone SE multiple times throughout the day. When it comes to standby time on iOS 13.5, there hasn't been any increase or decrease in battery drain. I've noticed that my iPhone SE will lose about 2-3% of battery overnight. Overall, this beta has been great and I'm really looking forward to a full release. Now let me know in the comments below if you're using an iPhone SE and what your experience has been with the latest beta. Now for the main question, should you update? Well, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you are okay with installing beta firmware, I'd say go for it. If you're on an earlier version of iOS 13, yet you would prefer to stick to a public release, I'd say wait about a week after the full release of iOS 13.5. Now I say a week so it gives you some time to see if any major bugs are reported. Now if you're on iOS 12 or earlier and are happy there, I'd highly recommend staying. Now I will have a full review of iOS 13.5 Beta 3 on the iPhone 7 coming later today, and a full review of watchOS 6.2.5 Beta 3 on the Apple Watch Series 1 coming tomorrow, so stay tuned. As always, if you do have any questions, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like, and if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, and it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.